Ooh, what is good, guys? So we have the snake uh, game. This is a tiebreaker uh, in semifinals between Elkans and Sijumas. Elkans got subbed in because our lefties couldn't make it. Okay, so let's look at the teams. So the, the score is 1-0 uh, for, I think, Sijuma's team. So if Sijuma wins, um, their team moves on. If Sijuma loses, I think ABR has to play versus I'm dragging after. Um, but that's, that's, let's see. So the packs, uh, if it's the death packs, that means that could be Z-move Kartana or Z-move Magnus Zone. Yeah, and I'm thinking it's like... Um, Oh, he has a lot of potential Z move users actually. Uh, I'm thinking that it's a uh, Scarf Lottie. Um, yeah, the Bulu could also be SD Life Orb. The Landos. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be Scarf Lottie. It could also be Scarf Landers. <laughs> like, I'm actually not sure. But the Landos is the only rocker. I know Scarf Landos is set, but I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking that he's uh, gonna be. Defensive Rocks Lando. Um, some sub SD Life or Bull, maybe. And uh, yeah, Alcan's team. Looking like Scarf Lando to me. Diva Mule. Um, so we have Packs, Mixed Defensive Stealer. Um, the, the, the Magnezone is gonna be nice here for to trap the Stellasteel later. I would probably go into Mew here from Elkans, or if you're Scarf, you can U turn, but the thing is, if the Ladi is Scarf, you don't want to take a Draco with your Landorus. Um, did he just U turn? Yeah, like that kind of confirms that he's Scarf, and we do see Helmet land on the other side. So, Sijuma, um, is either not Scarf Ladi? I oh, didn't want to let the Lottie take the hit. Hmm. And yeah, this Manitum is actually a really big threat. He does not have good switch-ins at all. He goes to Toxic Packs. So is he gonna Oh it's a Jack Button Packs, wow. So it's a Jack Button Packs, um for stuff like um Oh, if Scissor U turns, you get a jack button out of the Magnezone and you get the Trap Celestealer. That's kind of cool. And it's nice to pivot, I guess, because Toxabox does have regen. That is correct. Hello? Yes. Um, Alright, let me hop in this game. Coco's a really nice play here because it covers. Um, it, it eats a Draco and it also. Um, if it was Trick Lari could have, like, would have worked out nicely. Potentially, Z move Coco. But yeah, Mana Rush is kind of Draco, Draco EQ, probably, right? Is that the set? Yeah, the, the EQ one does it to it KO gear after some chip. But he has grassy yeah, terrain, probably. so I don't know if it's off quick. <laughs> True. So you turn um fifteen percent. I don't know if that's physical Coco from the damage. Like if it's a max attack? Nah, I think I would have done more. Um, so you can go Medicham here and Ice Punch. Does that kill? Ice Punch kills, yes. Oh shit. Medicham is busted as fuck. Yeah, he's gonna switch it. So it's Mega Lottie. I, I did not consider Mega Lottie at all. Okay. Scarf Land, though. Okay, okay. Mm, it's just gonna. I don't know if he wants to U-turn because he doesn't want to keep taking helmet damage. Uh, if I'm CG Mahi, I go Pax because the terrain is up, so Earthquake doesn't do much. Yeah, Pax covers. It's confirmed Scarf. Uh, he U-turned turn 1 on the Ladi, so yeah. Alright. And at first I thought that the Ladi could be Scarf, I didn't even think about Mega Ladi. <laughs> I feel kinda dumb now. Like, I was so confused which one is the Scarf or which one is the Z-Move user, because he has like... A lot of potential Z move users. It could like it could have been Bulu, Kartana, or Zona team preview. Or I also thought it could have been Ladi. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I could have scarf Kartana. I don't know why he went Ladi there. He could have just Oh I, I, I know I went I know why. Because Pex would have let the Medichim in. And Ladi outspeeds Medichim. Ladi's really annoying. 
so he has shield U turn. Hmm. So this is either like the U turn taunt roost wild charge, or if it's a, a mixed one, then it's like U turn T bolt HP eyes roost, or U turn T bolt HP eyes taunt. Could be fairy Z too. Because he's um, probably AV Bulu. Yeah. Oh, that did no damage. <laughs> nice AV. Alright, so that's better though. Yeah, but U turn, U turn is really nice here because um, that means like Sejuma cannot go into zone predicting the stealer because uh, since you always U turn, that doesn't work. Like if you just get the momentum on the zone, Sejuma has to stay in and just go for like Horn Leech. Oh, like he can like superpower doesn't matter because it will not do shit. Oh, that just matters. Okay, I forgot about that shit. Fuck, I'm fucking up. I gotta read the decimation, Bob. <laughs> I mean, Horn Leech would probably do the same since it's AV. Yeah, yeah, and I just madness was only to hit Stealer. Okay, Stila. okay also Mew since Dagi got banned. Uh, in the Dagi meta, I've seen a lot of like. Magical attack. Mew not run Volt Switch. Mm. So now he kind of has to like sack. You like pivot around. I'm thinking this is um, Thunder Punch, so I don't think he has Zen Headbutt. Oof, oh. Goat Man. Okay, so as a smoke this chip would say. The terrain is really helpful. Um, yeah, that was a really good play. But uh, he doesn't have a switch, and I think he just has to sack the Lando. Mm, what? Jesus. Okay, I can't just fire, but like. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good play. Oh, no, actually, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Since he doesn't have Zen, he gets walled by Pex at minus one. Okay, I didn't get that at first. Mm hmm. The thing is that just like a free T ball again. The thing is the he's going zone or he's going Bulu, but both are getting chipped. And taking yeah, the I don't think zone's that much of a switch in because it looks like it's Z move since the thing is AV. It is Z move, but yeah, that doesn't that doesn't like T bolts. Okay. Uh, zone eats. But. He's gonna sack the Landris now to get some helmet damage. Um, so let's see if Elkans makes like a fire double. We got zone oh. into Didn't Amfuga use this team already? Was this the uh, ABR team? Or the Amfuga team? Amfuga used it, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, because it is his Lottie set, the Draco Lottie. Is, is it the team he used? I just don't remember because it, I remember that Lottie had Earthquake and this Bulu has. Grassy terrain, which kind of doesn't work with Lottie. Earthquake, that one. Mm. But yeah, see, you know I can go uh, sack his Lando here. Um, I thought he would do that, would have done it the last turn, but I'm like super surprised. So he scarf rocks Lando, okay? No, like I'm super surprised by um the zone being scarf and not the Kartana or the like any like uh, Team Brew. I thought he had so many potential scarfers. I thought there could be potential scarf Lottie, potential scarf. Uh. Kartana potential scarf Lari, right? But I did not think about zone at all. So Lari is gonna go for recover here. I'm pretty sure this Coco can win on its own. It's such a threat. Guess he's just gonna sack Lando this time. Mm, he's just gonna dazzling gleam, I, I would assume, because you don't wanna take uh, helmet yeah. damage if you U turn. Actually, Lando does the rocks, never mind. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam is fine because you keep chip chipping the zone slash the Bulu. And Lari obviously doesn't want to stay in. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool tech. Like I mean, the his, team, his team is pretty weak to Pinsir, I guess. Yes, that is correct. We, uh, we have seen that in uh, another game that I just uploaded earlier. Yeah. Where like, uh, Pinsir would have just ran through but it was Scarf Zone. <laughs> Yeah, SD Kartana too is annoying. Scarf Zone is amazing. If it, outsp it outspeeds Kartana, right? So you can just trap those. Mm, I don't know about that play. Because now the Bulu is coming in like really low. Yeah, but if he stayed in on U turn, he would have been low as well. And if he were. I guess he could have home leech. Yeah, hmm. yeah, he would probably go Celestia to block the recovery. Um, I assume Sijuma is just... It doesn't matter too much if his pex gets burned. If he has Toxic, that would be nice for him. Oof. 
Like at first I thought he would go Lottie, but then I thought about if he has Toxic. Um, since he has Grassy Terrain. Does he also have Black Sludge? Let me see. Yeah, no, he only has Grassy Terrain. He doesn't have Black Sludge. So, um, I'm thinking he's... Uh, again, I've said this in another video. He's, he's a Shed Shell or Payapa Pharah, probably. But, because his team is quite weak to Volk, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Damn, it's like 6 out. So now CDMA, I think he's gonna sack the land though. I don't know why he keeps that sack. No, it's a, it was a jack button. Oh, it was a jack button. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that's for, like, yeah, when I see no black slash, I always assume that it's shit chill up by up at this point. Because that's like the sets that we have seen. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's keeping a 10% land though. The only reason why you want to keep it is for um, sacking it later on the Coco. Is it double scarf? Why do you stay in a leaf blade? Um, so I assume... Family. I assume Sidhuma is gonna go Pex here. Yep. Wait, who is Double Scarf? I mean, he just stayed in to Leaf Blade the Scarf land though, so... Yeah, Elkhounds wanted to scout for Double Scarf. Um, even though at this point, I would say that it's uh, Zemo of Cartana. Yeah. From, from what we have seen. I mean, if he gets damage off on the... Hmm. If he gets damage off on the Magna Zone, like if he gets at like 30%, Coco could win. He's definitely not gonna let the zone take the hit here. Um, I would leech it or double the Coco here, maybe. Yeah, I think double to Coco. Cause he he's definitely going packs. Double to Coco just forces him to sack the land, though, which he like. I don't know why he doesn't want to sack it. <laughs> he sucks it there. Okay. So, okay, I mean, that this was. This is not good because this isn't going to kill and Flamethrower is going to do so much. Yeah, he's going to Volt Switch here. Um... Yeah. Oh, Captain no. Coco wins oh, this game. He didn't Volt Switch. Okay, so now he's really weak to Coco. Unless he's Scarf Katana, too. If he's Scarf Katana, this guy's Bluff Jesus. I mean, his Pex is at Volt still. I think that takes two. Yeah, I mean, Scarf Mag isn't really that fast, so I guess it could be double. So this t bolt probably kills from here, so he's gonna t bolt. For sure, for because sure. Because he had terrain boosted, and Magnuson is not that bulky without AV. So if he's Scarf Katana, you can go to that, otherwise, he has to go to Bulu. Yeah, the way he's playing it, like, just like. Letting the Magnazone take that hit, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be Scarf. Okay, so he plays it as if he's Scarf. Does so he does not have a Z move on his entire team then? That's weird. Oh, he's just Bluff God. Um, so Alcon's gonna switch here into mm -mm -mm. Pex. Yeah, Pex is like the only s that could potentially take two. Everything else would have to. Would get he's gonna get crit and then just lose. I mean, Mew is poison. What is Mew doing in this game? Yeah, but he can't sack it because he gets the boost. I mean, I guess he could sack it in theory, but. Yeah, I mean, if the Pex is Spadef, does it really take two? Can you call it that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did like 45 to a Pex. Or like 40 or something. Um, Why does the damage calc still have the bold one? I don't remember if he has Black Sludge on his packs. Did his packs even come out yet? It's 43 to 51. Yeah, so it's with like Rocks, that should like, like have a good chance to tweet KO. Yeah, maybe. With Black Sludge, though, it's weird. Now, Alcon's team is also weak to Volcarona. So, I don't know if he's Black Sludge. Like, I know yeah. that's kind of like a joke to, like, Think that Payapa is standard. Okay, so second Lando uh, is good in the sense that he doesn't get an attack boost because you, the Intimidate cancels that out. Yeah. So now you can go Pex and see Juma is gonna switch into Lari here. So I think we're gonna see a double into Coco to put offensive pressure. That's his only play. Uh, see Juma breaks and stays in the game ends right here. I don't even think he has to. He doesn't have to. Once yeah, Cartana comes back in on the Coco. Yeah, he's like, fine. He should not make that play. 
But I can see Alcan's like trying to scold and hope that Sijima stays in, but he's not gonna stay in. So it is just scald, hoping for a choke, I guess. And mm -hmm. if the Lari, yeah, I was about to say if the Lari has an attacking move, I would go for it here because you don't want to let the Coco come in for free. So now he goes me, okay. It's pretty much. He's gonna hope to get the either the Coco in on a roost or he's gonna sack the Mew to get the Coco in then. Okay, so he sacks it. I feel like he could have gone Coco there because the Coco has roost. That's all the moves. Okay, if it has roost, then it can live a leaf blade. <gasps> oh! What? Yeah, it can, it can Ooh, live leaf blade. Fire play. I mean, the only reason why he kept Ladi is because it beats the packs, guaranteed. Mm, so fire yeah, play think, by Elkin. I think he wins that unless he crits Leaf Blade. Uh, Sijima is going to have to sack here to the T bold. I think that was a choke. Right? Ru uh, switching out Lottie. Mm. Yeah, because now he lives Leaf Blade. Be I, th I, think, I think he could have stalled out Elkan's Toxa packs because he has his own packs and a Bulu. But yeah, I think he could have roosted with Lottie on the packs. Yeah, but if he stayed in and the Coco didn't roost, then his Lottie would have been dead. So I'm trying to like think about the scenario. So he gigavolts there. Don't think. Now it dies to rocks. A uh, gigavolts to I don't. What's the terrain up? Can the packs live now? Was there no, no. electric terrain or what did he gigavolt? Did T bolt not kill? Is packs that fat? I don't think Skull does enough. Um, the thing is, the grassy terrain is gonna heal him yeah, back. Skull does enough. Uh, I think Smart Strike. How much does it do eighty? Uh, I mean Leaf Blade, not Smart Strike. Leaf Blade. I assume this. Like, yeah. Okay, Skull is twenty-three to twenty. Really, Jesus. Okay, Cartana. Wait. Seventy-seven to ninety-one. If what? he went to. Yeah, I think Sigma loses now. Oh, the grassy terrain is up. Leaf Blade killed. Oh, it's grassy terrain boosted. That's why. That's why he said, "What the fuck am I doing?" He just won if he went for a Leaf Blade Cartana. And then he got a he got an attack boost and he just won. But yeah, yeah I think he wins anyway. I think he wins anyway. Yeah, since it's toxic, he's still fine now. He he's gonna um. Sack Pex Oladi here, but actually. So now he has to sack the Lottie, right? To get more chip on the Coco. Oh, no. Leaf Blade yeah, kills? Oh, it's still Grassy Turn is still up. I thought it ended. Okay, so he wins with Scarf Katana now. Oh, uh, yeah. Does Lottie die to rocks, maybe? No. No, but if he goes Lottie first, then the terrain ends. That's why he goes to this first. <laughs> Didn't think clear for a second. Nah, but I was just thinking, Mega like. Mega yeah. Lottie is not. GG amigo. Mega Lottie is not like common at all. Like the Tios. Like you only see Lottie Tios in Mega. So that's why I did not think about it at all at team preview. <laughs> oh, it was it was Lottie? Like Latios. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's Mega Latios. It's not Latios. Yeah, it came late. So. That's, that, no, no, I was just saying, this is why I'm so surprised. At team preview, I saw it all oh, potential Scarf Lottie, potential Scarf Katana. <laughs> See how much this does. But yeah, it was double scarf, which is interesting. Makes sense, obviously, though, because scarf zone is not as fast. You already said that. If he burned there, he still would have lost to Lari. But yeah. So this uh, means that uh, Sijuma's team is in the next round. Uh, I will go to the forums real quick. Bushmasters, right? I will go to the forums real quick because I don't know the name. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up here because they have like a, a link somewhere to the thread. I can't find it. Let me pause real quick till I find it. For fun. Yeah. Um. So here's Smog on Snake Draft. Semi-finals. Lycan's got subbed in for lefties. I already said that earlier. Uh, where are the matchup? Where are the matchups? Yeah, so ABR versus I'm dragging my head I had the recording pause when you said it. Okay, so here tiebreaker. Uh, Sijima won, Amfuga won. 
so it's 204 the very forest bushmasters it was a shin to ruin Bro. servants yo go to go back to turn 38 if he switched out there and he came back in i think he won turn 38 yeah because he comes back at 88 one second i'm not there and then he gets the terrain back up And he's only at 88. And then I think he kills the Pex. Mm. I, don't then, know, I don't know uh, if Pex got, dies. In, very high roll. I don't think Pex dies. He did 52, which means in terrain. In terrain, terrain I would do like 78. Something like That's that. Crazy. Pex is fat as fuck. Yeah, I think that was his only play though. I guess he didn't notice the terrain. But yeah, I'm not sure when this video will go up because the other game that was before this, the Mfuga one, that's a little cup one. I sent that to my man Ultra Balls, he's the, the, the LC specialist. So yeah, thanks for insult. To insult uh, being the juiciest guest. I don't know, I can't <laughs> fucking up my outro. <laughs> that was a really good game. Yeah, it was a good game, but like there were like so many things that surprised me. So I, I feel like I could have given a better narration, but it's fine. Uh, like, I, I, like there were like two or three sets that I did not call at all. Like, I thought his zone would be potential Z-move. And then, like, at Team Pruvi, preview, I thought, like, three potential Z-move users. And then I thought yeah, it was either Scarf awesome. Katana or Scarf Lani. I did, never thought it would be a Scarf zone, too. But if you for more content, um, the ulti, uh, ulti round 7, 8 is gonna be coming. Ulti Luxus Bracket is gonna be coming live. Uh, from round 7, one game is gonna be replayed, the other game is gonna be live. And yeah, a lot of more snake games that uh, happened before the semifinals um, are gonna go up probably after the tournament is over. Like, they're still gonna go up. Uh, Smoke on two playoffs. Was it 24? 25? I think 24. Smoke this playoffs gonna be coming live. Uh, black, white, auras, and gen 7. So we need some. Yeah, I gotta find some black and white specialists to help me put the narration there. Mm. Not sure if the ABR game is even gonna happen now. Uh, he said he's not gonna use his original team. Oh, we're gonna use fun teams. Yeah, I feel we can still record yeah. that. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.